We know superheroes like Spider-Man and Batman are characterized by their superpowers or their ability to fight off evil villains. But perhaps some of our real-life superheroes are the ones who don't wear capes, but rather the ones with decades of history behind them. This week's hometown heroes dedicate their lives to helping one woman find the hero within herself. They call themselves visiting angels. I love my angel. There to lend a helping hand to seniors across our coast. Hey, Miss Rose. <laughs> Rose Dufel gets a knock on her door every Thursday. I'm not driving, and so I, I, I have to get a, a car to come and do things to take me places. And so, so when my visiting angel comes, she and I go shopping. We go to the grocery store. And even Rose's favorite. Sometimes we go to the orange store. I like, I like to knit and I like to crochet. I do it all the time. Visiting Angel's goal is to help relieve the stress and worry family members experience over the care of their elderly loved ones by keeping them at ease inside their home and ready to help them with any daily task. But this week was a little different for the 87-year-old when her visit came early with balloons, a gold crown, and a celebratory cake. Oh my goodness. It was all in honor of National Senior Citizens Day when the visiting angels recognized Miss Rose as a super senior. Sweet little lady. Well, it's very nice of them. I'm, I'm, it, it's shocking to me. It's surprising, you know, but it's, it's wonderful. This fun-loving mother of three, grandmother of seven, and great-grandmother to six, conquers every day living on her own, eats a tomato with every meal, and crochets, as she says, backwards with her left hand. I'm making hats for the homeless you know, when it gets cold, they have a hat to put on. And I've just started making hats, pink hats, for um, uh, people that have to go to the cancer, the place for treatment for cancer. And like most hometown heroes, Rose stays humble about her good work in the community. I've had a wonderful life. I've been very lucky. And um, I just feel like if I can, you know, make somebody else a little bit happy, then that would be really good for me. Every week, Rose and her angel prove not all heroes wear capes, but rather crocheted blankets and tiny halos. As always, if you know a hometown hero in your community, reach out to my Facebook page at Lindsay Goodwin, WXXB25.